Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. Today we're going to declutter and organize my garage. I can't tell you how stressful this garage is to me. Things are here, there, and everywhere. Now you'll see that we do have good storage systems. It's just time to reorganize them. We'll also be adding in a new storage shelf that I'll share with you in just a bit. My husband and I built this home two years ago when we downsized from a much larger home. Even though we downsized our furniture, our personal belongings didn't change. In fact, it's grown. Like we have since added the jet ski, we also have a tall Balsam Hill Christmas tree and a tall ladder to reach the high ceilings in our home. Oh, and my husband also has a new bike in here. And we also prefer to park our car in the garage. So that, along with the jet ski and trailer, takes up the majority of the floor space. We do have some storage up in the attic, but it's pretty limited. So we have these ceiling racks added. This larger one holds all of our holiday decor. You may remember in my Christmas videos that we go all out for the holidays. Two of these racks we got last spring and the one over the garage door on the right side we put in a few weeks ago. We have the extra space to get some of this stuff off the floor now. So we're gonna get it up there on that rack. We have this sweet little helper here with us today. She was happy for a minute, but eventually she told us she was done and it was time to get her in the car for a drive. So we used that time to run for a fountain drink. Mom was only away for about an hour, so all was good. This shelf is where I keep all of my garden stuff. I want to remove all the extra stuff that has landed on here and once again make this a garden and potting area. As I take these things off, I'm categorizing them so that I know what I have to put back on here and what needs to go somewhere else. I'm also trying to decide what containers I want to use. With deep shelves like this, I prefer to add in plastic containers to act more as a drawer so that way I can slide it out and get things from the top rather than having to dig behind things. We can run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel it, it burns inside. Me. Take away the pain, we can go and say, I can feel it, it burns inside. Me. We can run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel it, it burns inside. Me. Take away the pain, we can go and say, Trust me, I won't let you down. This is about the time that little Waverly insisted on a drive. So we'll shut down the garage door and be back at this in just a minute. Now we're home and baby is happily with her mama. We're going to go ahead and start breaking down these boxes and get them ready for recycling. And then Michael is going to go ahead and get the jet ski hooked up and moved out so that we can get these floors pressure washed. tackle a garage I prefer to take everything out and out of the way so that way I can blow out and pressure wash the concrete without worrying about things getting wet however today I'm having to do something a little different because our neighborhood is having a scheduled garage sale that is posted all over town so many people come to find the homes that are participating in the garage sale so we have our car pulled in front of the things that we're pulling out of the garage to try to signal that we're cleaning and not selling but this makes it difficult for me to do this job the way that I like in order for me to feel like it's complete. In fact, I was kind of bummed by this and I felt like I wasn't accomplishing what I wanted. 
Do you get like this? Do you have a certain way of doing things and if it's not done that way, it doesn't feel complete? It wasn't until I started editing the clips that I realized that in a roundabout way, we did accomplish everything that I like to do. It just wasn't done in the order that I like to do it. But that's okay, the garage still got cleaned and organized. like the spiders are loving the clutter they have made homes on the things around the baseboards so we're going to go ahead and tackle sweeping out all these cobwebs before I pressure wash the floors you definitely don't want to cut corners and expect the pressure washer to do this job all that does is plaster the webs to your surface making it 10 times harder to remove if you've been here a while you may be wondering why I'm not using my dock pole well I can't find the cobweb attachment I have looked all over this house and it's missing. And even though I have other attachments that I could use, I really don't want to bring those out here into the garage. So I'm going to go ahead and do this the old fashioned way. Another chance to be there I would do it all again But I lost you So there's only so much that I can do Like take down all the pretty pictures Put away that old guitar you played for me Forget the way Here is one side of the garage out in the driveway but a storm is a brewing, so we need to get busy. When you used to write me poetry, you would tell me about my history. If I could have another chance to be there, I would. I decided to use these two clear containers on the bottom shelf. I like the tops to help keep the spiders out of the soils and things. Yeah, for the pain to me. I'll take down all the pretty pictures Put away that old guitar you played for me Forget the way you used to hold me Baby, it's all the memories That I lost you So there's only so much that I Okay, let's go ahead and get the pressure washer started and see what spots we can get removed. We'll also be using the squeegee to make a quicker job of the floors drying. I know that it seems backwards to pressure wash the floor after I've brought in the shelf, but it has begun to rain and I wanted to bring in the things that the rain could ruin. I'm going to pressure wash this right side and then later you'll see me pressure wash the left side. So basically we're working on one side at a time so that I don't have to take everything out just in case if it storms and we have to rush it all back inside. This shelf is actually the top of the other shelf. We just took them apart to function separately. On this side is where we keep all of our tools, paint, and Ryobi stuff. Because this shelf is so close to this back door, it has become a hot spot and a dumping ground for all the things.
is your first time clicking on one of my videos, let me introduce myself. My name is Michelle. I'm the mom to three moms and a son. I started this channel to encourage other women to reclaim the peace in their lives through cleaning, organizing, and setting up routines. On Thursdays, I post an extreme clean with me as I explain how I do zone cleaning in each of the zones of my home. On Sundays, I post videos from our six month declutter and organize challenge that we've been doing here on my channel. They are videos very similar to what you're seeing today. At the end of this video, I will post the playlist to all the decluttering videos that I've done in mine or one of my three daughters' homes. If you're interested in this type of content, please click the red button and subscribe. I would love to have you here. And also, comment below your name and where you're from because I honestly love getting to know my subscribers. My husband has accumulated a nice amount of Ryobi cordless tools. So in a second, you're going to see us put together and hang a shelf to hold these tools. It really helps to free up the space on the shelf on the floor and to organize all the tools, making it so much easier for us to get what we need when we need it. to quickly pressure wash the ice chest to give them time to dry out before bringing them back into the garage. And then we're going to go ahead and work on the left side of the garage before we bring back in the jet ski. This is the power tool organizer that I was talking about. I looked high and low for one that I really liked, and this is the one I chose. I got it off of Amazon. It's a half inch thick marine grade PVC. It never needs refinishing, it's easy to clean, waterproof, and made in the USA. You can add an electrical bar to the top shelf to charge all your batteries, but I choose to use that shelf to hold additional tools and I keep my battery chargers on the lower shelf on the floor. My husband really likes this shelf and it does complete this tool shelf area. As always, I will link any of the products I share with you today down in my description box. You will see other products down there as well. If you have a question on anything that you see that I have not linked, feel free to ask me down in the comments or you can send me an email. I 
And here's what the tool organizer looks like with all the tools on it. This thing is very sturdy and it looks great on the wall. All right, so a project is never complete without taking care of those little things that actually make a big difference in a space. It is about time to scrub down this white dirty door. I find that some of these marks are difficult to get off, so I use a magic eraser and then I finish it off by scrubbing the threshold. You are the one that I will call when I'm drunk You are the one that I just need to feel loved As you saw me do in my house for my spring cleaning video, I'm going to go around the garage and touch up paint any obvious and easy to get to marks on the wall. As soon as I'm done with this, I'll show you around the whole garage and then we'll see what we accomplished today. I'm very proud of the space. And I'm glad that I didn't fall into the trap of feeling like I didn't accomplish anything just because I didn't execute it in the manner that I'm used to. I think this garage turned out great, but I'll let you be the judge of that when you see the before and after. As you can see, we get this done in no time at all, and it really does make a big difference to the space. Okay, so here's the before of what the garage looked like before we got started today. I like to encourage you to take a before and after of whatever you're working on so that you can see all of your hard work. Sometimes my daughters and I get motivation from each other by doing this. It's fun to do when you know that you're going to get a chance to show it off to those who appreciate it along with you. And here is the after. As you can see, we already had good organizing systems put into place, but we allowed things to get out of hand. Just like in our homes, 
we have to put in the effort to keep things put away so that we can keep our space tidier longer than a few days. In my case, the boxes need to be broken down before we take them into the garage. If you remember in my entry video, I set up an area with all the tools that I need to break down the Amazon boxes. So I need to be sure to get this done before I bring them into the garage. We also need to keep up with placing the tools back into the toolbox and up on the new power tool organizing shelf we put up. As you look around, you may be wondering where all of our lawn tools are. Well, when we bought the jet ski, we added a small outdoor shed to the side of our house. We put all of our lawn equipment in there. Soon, I'm going to be adding organization systems out there to get the things off the floor and hung up onto the walls and a high shelf that I'll put in there. I'll be sure to film this so I can share it with you. Before this video is over, I wanted to share with you these heavy duty rubber wheel stoppers. These allow me to pull in as far as I can without bumping into the shelf. I have these sitting on the floor because they're heavy and sturdy, but they do come with screws if you wanted to permanently attach them to the floor. I bought these off of Amazon about a year ago and I'll link them for you. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, would you please give me a thumbs up? It lets YouTube know that you think that I'm doing a good job. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. Don't forget that I'm posting a link to the videos of our Declutter and Organize Challenge. And if you're interested in any of the products that I've shown you here today, I will link those down in the description box. Okay, I hear the rain coming down now. We got this job completed in just enough time. I'll see you again on Thursday. Stay blessed, my friends.